Oblivion walkthrough for nextgenwalkthroughs.com. <clears throat> okay, now this is a relatively short quest compared to the other ones. It makes uh, it needs you to find two spies that are in Bruma, Burma. Sorry, Bruma, and uh, <laughs> and um, kill them pretty much. So you're gonna want to talk to Joffrey to start it, and well, if you haven't already started it, and. Uh, so ask about the spies. He'll tell you that there have been reports of s people coming through, and Joffrey said he would send his people to go f catch the spies, but he can't because he has to defend Cloud Ruler, even though they don't really look like they're defending Cloud Ruler, and I doubt sending one blade with a gun would have been bad. But, oh, well, kind of a quest between that span of time when Martin translates part of that Mysterium Xarxes book, but, you know... <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if there's an achievement for this quest. There might be or there might not be. I know I know there's achievements for finding the four items to get into paradise, but uh, that's different. So anyway, the first person you're going to want to talk to is up here. And it is Captain Stefan. And he'll tell you that they're always by this runestone at dusk. And dusk in this game is around 5.30, 6 o'clock, 6.30. For those of you that don't know when dusk is, dawn is, and this, that's 5.30, 6.30, uh, 6, 6.30 at night, not in the morning. Dawn would be at the morning, like 6 in the morning is dawn pretty much. In the game at least, and in real life depending on where you live I guess. But anyway, uh, there's usually one, only one spy down here. If you're lucky you'll get two spies, and you're going to want to walk all the way down here. And uh, once you, if there's only one spy you're going to want to talk to the... Uh, uh, captain of Captain Bard in the Bruma, uh, in, the, in the city of Bruma, and he will tell you that uh, he's not really found anyone suspicious or anything. And uh, I will <laughs> get to that when we get to it. But for the first part, you're gonna want to come down here and, of course, following your marker. But uh, why am I saying? But anyway, you're gonna want to come down here and. There's a rock above the rune stone that you can just hide on and sit there until you see them, see the uh, spies uh, coming over to the rune stone. So just come down here, sneak, and then wait till about six at night. And I think I only have to wait an hour. Yeah. So uh, you'll know they're there when they see someone by the rune stone. Now if you want you can activate the rune stone and it'll give you a bound dagger I think and I don't activate the rune stone because I don't want that dagger and it only uh, lasts temporarily and if you equip another weapon while using that dagger the dagger will disappear and you'll have to go back to the rune stone after a day. Now after you kill the spy you're gonna want to get his uh, the spy's key. I think it's a her. You're gonna want to get her key and the basement key. So uh, you can get the other items if you want and of course get the gold and just activate the shrine if you want, but I'm not going to. So now I go into Castle Baruma. And you're gonna have to find Captain Bard, and he will be at different places throughout the day, but if you go here right after killing the spy, he should be in the barracks. And the rest of this video is pretty much talking about Captain Bird, and uh, the next video will be going through Gerald's house and everything. So. Uh, yep, pretty much it, so see you in the next video of Spies.